Glucoglipizide, sold under the brand name Glucotrol among others, is an anti-diabetic medication of the sulfonylurea class used to treat type 2 diabetes. It is used together with a diabetic diet and exercise. It is not indicated for use by itself in type 1 diabetes. It is taken by mouth. Effects generally begin within half an hour and can last for up to a day. Common side effects include nausea, diarrhea, low blood sugar, and headache. Other side effects include sleepiness, skin rash, and shakiness. The dose may need to be adjusted in those with liver or kidney disease. Use during pregnancy or breastfeeding is not recommended. It works by stimulating the pancreas to release insulin and increases tissue sensitivity to insulin. Glipizide was approved for medical use in the United States in 1984. It is available as a generic medication. Glipizide sensitizes the beta cells of pancreatic islets of Langerhans insulin response, meaning that more insulin is released in response to glucose than would be without glipizide ingestion. Glipizide acts by partially blocking potassium channels among beta cells of pancreatic islets of Langerhans. By blocking potassium channels, the cell depolarizes, which results in the opening of voltage-gated calcium channels. The resulting calcium influx encourages insulin release from beta cells. History It was patented in 1969 and approved for medical use in 1971. Glipizide was approved for medical use in the United States in 1984. Glyventlamide, also known as gliburide, is a medication used to treat diabetes mellitus type 2. It is recommended that it be taken together with diet and exercise. It may be used with other anti-diabetic medication. It is not recommended for use by itself in diabetes mellitus type 1. It is taken by mouth. Common side effects include nausea and heartburn. Serious side effects may include angioedema and low blood sugar. It is generally not recommended during pregnancy but can be used during breastfeeding. It is in the sulfonylureas class of medications and works by increasing the release of insulin from the pancreas. Glyventlamide was discovered in 1969 and approved for medical use in the United States in 1984. It is available as a generic medication. Medical uses. It is used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. It is not as good as either metformin or insulin in those who have gestational diabetes. Side effects. Frequently reported side effects include, nausea, heartburn, weight gain, and bloating. The medication is also a major cause of medication-induced hypoglycemia. The risk is greater than with other sulfonylureas. Cholestatic jaundice is noted. Glyventlamide may be not recommended in those with G6PD deficiency, as it may cause acute hemolysis. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. It is generally not recommended during pregnancy but can be used during breastfeeding. It was developed in 1966 in a cooperative study between Boringer Mannheim, now part of Roche, and Hoax, now part of Sanofi Aventis. Glyclozide, sold under the brand name Diamicron among others, is a sulfonylurea type of anti-diabetic medication, used to treat diabetes mellitus type 2. It is used when dietary changes, exercise, and weight loss are not enough. It is taken by mouth. Side effect may include low blood sugar, vomiting, abdominal pain, rash, and liver problems. Used by those with significant kidney problems or liver problems or who are pregnant is not recommended. Glyclozide is in the sulfonylurea family of medications. It works mostly by increasing the release of insulin. Glyclozide was patented in 1966 and approved for medical use in 1972. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Glyclozide is used for control of hyperglycemia in glyclozide-responsive diabetes mellitus of stable, mild, non-ketosis-prone, type 2 diabetes. It is used when diabetes cannot be controlled by proper dietary management and exercise or when insulin therapy is not appropriate. National Kidney Foundation 2012 update claims that glyclozide does not require dosage of titration even in end-stage kidney disease. Contraindications Type 1 diabetes Hypersensitivity to sulfonylureas Severe renal or hepatic failure But relatively useful in mild renal impairment Example CKD Stage 3 Pregnancy and lactation Adverse effects 
Hypoglycemia, while it was shown to have the same efficacy as glimepiride, one of the newer sulfonylureas, the European Guide study has shown that it has approximately 50% less hypoglycemic confirmed episodes in comparison with glimepiride. Overdose. Liclozide overdose may cause severe hypoglycemia, requiring urgent administration of glucose by IV and monitoring.